wide. So in the Malai with the puck out. Out into the centre. Damien Pierce returns it back towards the Ogunla goal. Oh, nicely let's come to, and that's a lovely score. A lovely score by Daniel Bedford. As he dropped on, as he latched onto the breaking ball. First timed it and sent it straight over the bar. The first score of the game coming after six minutes play. And a lovely score it was by the left corner forward, Daniel Bedford. Score. A lovely score by Daniel Bedford. As he dropped on, as he latched onto the breaking ball. First time did and sent it straight over the bar. Daniel Bedford. Daniel Bedford. Daniel Bedford. The puck out by Imda Malloy. Back come Partin again. Noel Mackey strikes it in goalwards. A dangerous ball as it drops inside. It's gone in. It's a goal. It's a goal for Partin. Noel Mackey, the scorer. Noel Mackey, who is a grandson of the legendary Mick, Mac Mick Mackey of Ahan, has started in great fashion for Partine. And after just six and a half minutes play, Partine lead by one goal and one point to a gunner's no score. Gets it in a little. Inda Malai, the captain, is there. But it's taken away from him by Daniel Bedford. Bedford cutting through, surrounded by two Ogunla players. Nicely hooked by Malai. Strikes it in goalwards, but it's swept out by Michael Vaughan. Out this side of the field. Partine pressing once again. Flicked in by Anthony Flynn. Inside towards Daniel Bedford. Bedford trying to cut through the Ogunla rear guard. Being closely marked by Brian Ford. Oh, a dangerous one as it drops inside. Another good save inside by the goalkeeper, Joseph Heaney. But the danger still not cleared. Across in front of the goal. It's, it's gone in. A goal by Daniel Bedford. But the referee, Michael Fitzpatrick, has blown the whistle. He has blown the whistle and he's awarding a free out for a square infringement. And he goes straight out to Noel Mackey. Mackey strikes it in. Oh, Tomas O'Connor racing through. Again, Josephine's inside, but it's another goal. Another goal. Daniel Bedford, the one that finished it. The clearance from John Vaughan was a slack one. It was sent back in towards goals. There was two Partin players inside. Tomas O'Connor got the first touch to it. Joseph Meany blocked it, but Daniel Bedford was running through to crash it into the back of the net. Five minutes left in the game as the puck out comes out this side of the field. The referee has penalised Tomas O'Connor. It's going to be a free out to Ogunla. Strikes it down towards the Ogunla goal. Daniel Bedford trying to keep it in play, but the umpire waves his hands wide. He signals that it has crossed the line. Inside. Half block down inside, and Dara Duggan is there to complete the clearance. Out this side of the field. Damien Pierce for Partine. Back into the centre of the field. Dermot Tilly, or it's Joseph Mooney for a gun low. Took his eye off it for a moment. In it's Wayne Kennedy. We're going over the 30 minutes, and the game is over. And Partine are the champions. Partine are the champions, and what has been a thrilling game of hurling served up here in Q. Uh, and unfortunately, there were So the final score from Cusick Park, Partine four goals and four points, Ogunlo three goals and two, Slaan of the Spanner.